everybody and welcome once again to Ruby's Classic Cooking. And today I'm making actually a new recipe, ham and cheese sliders. So um, I'm just going to dive straight in because this is for a potluck and I've got an hour to get ready to go to the potluck and I still have to change my clothes. Anyway, here we go. I need 24 rolls, mini rolls. So actually I took out my bread machine and I made a batch of roll dough and made my 24 mini rolls. I weighed my entire batch of dough and then I divided by 24 and I made these little buns all weigh the same. So I'm going to start off with this recipe and I'm going to put them, I baked them in this pan because this is the pan I'm going to take my casserole dish in and so first thing I have to do is slice these in half. Let's get my bread knife out here. It's helpful to have a bread knife that's as long as the rolls. This one's not quite long enough. Anyway, this could be fun. I don't do this very often. Anyway, let's see how we can do this. Get this cut. You gotta cut the bottom and the top in half like so. And you leave the whole mass of rolls together. Well, that's not going too badly. Good. And you've seen me make rolls before. And if you haven't, you can watch my my bread my dinner rolls with bread machine assistance video and I'm going to be linking that YouTube video down below. And there I'm going to cut these in half. Now if you wanted to make half this recipe it would just be easy to just cut this recipe in half. All the ingredients in half. So instead of 24 mini rolls you'd only need 12. There we go. So, oops, one little corner here that's hanging on over here. So I'll cut off here all the way across. There we go. Come on, you. Cut, cut, cut. All right. So, that's cut. Now, I'm just going to take the bottom half of these rolls. And I'm going to put them in my pan right there. Okay. Now, the fun starts. <laughs> so, I'm just going to put my roll tops over here on this other little cutting board over here in the corner. And I've got these here. I'm making my sauce to go with this and it starts out with three quarters of a cup of melted butter which I have right here and into that I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of mustard now you can use Dijon mustard if you have it but this is just plain yellow mustard and that's that will work just as well and uh, it's slightly different taste than your Dijon but anyway okay mustard and one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. So here's my teaspoon. There's one teaspoon goes in there. And a half a teaspoon. There you go. One and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce goes in there. One and a half tablespoons, and this is uh, everything bagel. You could use poppy seeds, but I'm using everything bagel today. One and a half tablespoons goes in. That's one. I'm just going to estimate a half a tablespoon here. There we go. A half a tablespoon. There we go. You can get all official and measure it, but you know what? This is just flavor I'm adding. It's not like a critical ingredient that I'm adding. And now I'm putting in a tablespoon of dried minced onion. And there's my sauce. I'm just going to give this a stir up. All my ingredients are in here. And now I have to get ready for the rest of this. Now, what it says in the recipe to use is nice thin ham slices. Well, I bought a big ham last week and first thing I did was I cut off four nice ham steaks for my husband and myself. I cut off, um, I cut some more of it into two hams, two small hams that are more suitable for two people. And then I took all the rest of the meat, that's all those little bits that were everywhere. This is perfect for putting on pizza, for making ham omelets. And today I'm going to put this in my casserole. So instead of ham slices, we're going to be using chunks of ham. And it calls for a pound, so I'm just going to estimate how much that looks like. And I'll be chopping this up a bit. Let's take my paring knife here and chop this up a bit. So they're all about the same size. And then I'm going to be putting that into my casserole dish. And if this isn't enough, well, I've got more in the bag. 
Let's just chop this up nicely. This is just an assortment of random bits that I cut off of the bones in my ham and that were pieces left over from when I did things. So these are great for, you could use them in sandwiches, casseroles. Well, that's what I'm doing with it today is putting it in a casserole. Omelets, if you like pizza with ham and pineapple. Oh, this is going on top of here. Yeah, lay about, I'm going to layer about half of the ham on here. Okay, that's to go on top of it. And right now, I'm going to grate my cheese. It says to use a pound of cheese. This is 400 grams, which is 50 grams less than a pound. But, you know what? Um, that's pretty close to a pound. That's about 15 ounces of cheese. So if that turns out to not be enough cheese, I'll be breaking out a bit more cheese and adding it onto this. This is old cheddar that I'm grating here. It says to use cheese slices, but you know what? You can grate cheese and it will go on a nice even layer on your casserole dish. All right, there's my whole block of cheese all grated. Now here's what my ham looks like now that it's on top of my rolls. Half of the cheese is gonna go on top of this, like so. Now oh, that's gonna look like plenty of cheese. Oops, even if it's not quite a pound. That'll look like lots of cheese going on there. And let's just put handfuls on here. Oops, that's right. All right, and now the rest of the ham goes on top. Let's sprinkle that all on top of here. Let's see if I can piece with the fat. I'll sprinkle this all over the top here. Now, all my ham is on. And now, on goes the rest of my cheese. Yum, 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 yum. Cheesy goodness. Wow, this is really filling up the casserole dish here, isn't it? A pound of cheese, a pound of ham, that's 454 grams for those of you who are metric. And don't worry, all the metric equivalents will be in my, will be in my description file below, along with the recipe for this casserole. There we go. Now I put the lids back on the top here. I'm going to put my rolls back on top here of my bases. There we go. Now this there it is all assembled and now here's my sauce right here my uh, mustard my melted butter my everything bagel and Worcestershire sauce and onions all here and now this is going to go all over the top of my rolls now this is going just going to drizzle this over the top here Now, let's see, let's drizzle this on here. And then now this goes into my preheated 350 degree oven for 20 minutes to toast the rolls, melt the cheese, and get the ham heated up. And uh, it says to put foil over it for the first 10 minutes so that your rolls don't over brown. So I'm gonna do that. And then it looked absolutely scrumptious when I took it out of the oven the video I was watching, so let's see how this turns out. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be good. I'm taking it to the potluck today. And when I come home, I'll take some pictures of what it, what it looks like, but I'll have some pictures here to show you what it looks like all, all together in the pan. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay, so now straight into my 350 degree oven this goes and I'll be back in 20 minutes to show you the final product. Okay, and here's my finished dish. 24 mini sliders with ham and cheese and my topping here. So I'll be back later to show you what they look like when you serve up an individual one and um, to tell you how they tasted because I'm sure I'm hoping everybody will love them. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video today, and I hope you'll like, subscribe, comment, try this recipe, and join me next time on Ruby's Classic Cooking. Bye for now.